deriving beta two hat in deviation form. Now we know that beta two hat after minimizing summation e i square can be written as n submission x i y i minus submission x i submission y i upon n submission x i square minus submission x i whole square. I'm going to leave this as is. I'm not going to touch this right now and I'm going to just name this equation as equation one. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some uh, manipulations around the formula and derive this beta two hat in its deviation form. So I will get this beta two hat in its deviation form. Let's see how. First of all, Let's see what is summation x i minus x bar y i minus y bar. This can also be written as summation small x i y i. So summation small x i y i is nothing but x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar. Let's open this up. This would be submission x i y i minus x i y bar minus x bar y i minus x bar y bar. Let's take this forward. This will be submission x i y i minus submission x i y bar minus submission x bar y i minus submission x bar y bar. Because x bar is a constant, I have a fixed value of mean and y bar is also a constant. I have a fixed value of y bar. x bar into y bar will also be a constant. So if I have to solve for this, this will be submission x i y i minus y bar can come out because it is a constant submission x i minus x bar can come out because it is a constant submission y i minus n times submission x uh, sorry n times x bar y bar. So you know x bar y bar x bar was a constant let us say x bar value is 10 y bar is a constant let us say y bar is 5. So, x bar y bar would be 50. Now, suppose I tell you that I am summing 50 4 times. Then you will directly say this is 4 into 50. Right? If I tell you I am summing 50 n times, you will directly tell me this is n into 50. So, the number of times that you sum something that would be that many times multiplied by the constant. So, you know, because this is a constant, x bar into y bar is a constant, when it gets summed n times, it gives you n x bar y bar. Here, x bar comes out because it is a constant, y bar comes out because it is a constant. Now, what I would be doing is, um, you know, this is, I'm solving it for submission x i y i. Okay. So, what I will do is I will manipulate this further. I will write this summation x i y i minus instead of y bar, what is the mean of y? Sum y n times divide by n. That is the mean of y. Summation x i minus summation x i by n into submission y i minus n submission x i by n submission y i by n. Is this fine? So, I have just opened up the mean values and after opening up the mean values, I have got this value. Now, let us solve this further. Here, I know that one of the n's 
would get cancelled out. Sorry, this would be here. I would have a plus sign, right? Because this is minus x bar minus y bar. This would be plus x bar y bar. Okay. So, one of the n bars, n would get cancelled out and I would be left up with summation xi yi minus summation xi summation yi by n minus summation xi summation yi by n plus submission xi submission yi by n. And now I can go ahead and cancel this out. So once I cancel this, I would be left up with submission xi yi minus submission xi submission yi by n. Let's go back to the formula that we were studying. Do you see that if I go ahead and I take this forward, this would be n submission xi yi minus submission xi submission yi by n. What was I solving for? I was solving for submission small xi yi, right? So, n into submission small xi yi will be n submission xi yi minus submission xi submission yi. So, instead of this entire thing that is there in my numerator of beta to hand, I can replace it by n submission xi yi. So, that is what I am going to do here. n submission xi yi. Similarly, let us look at another thing. And what I want to now open up is submission xi square. What is the formula of submission xi square? Submission xi square is nothing but submission xi minus x bar whole square. This is nothing but so a minus b whole square will be a square plus b square minus 2ab summed up. So, this will be submission xi square plus submission x bar square minus submission 2xi x bar. Okay. Now, this would be submission xi square minus because x bar is a constant. Let us say x bar is 10. So, x bar square will also be a constant. Summing a constant n times will just be n times the constant. So, I can write this as n x bar square minus 2 can come out, x bar can come out, this will be submission x bar. Now, notice what I am going to do. I am going to go ahead and do further manipulations. So, instead of x bar, I will write summation xi by n because this is the formula for mean into summation x by n minus 2 submission x by n instead of x bar into submission x. And from here, this will get cancelled out, right? So, this will be submission xi square minus submission xi whole square by n this will be plus sorry minus 2 submission xi whole square by n so because they are the same i can just solve this and i can get submission xi square minus summation xi whole square by n. What was I solving this for? I was solving it for summation xi square. So, n I can take you know I can just solve this further. This will be n summation xi square minus summation xi whole square by n is equal to submission xi square. 
So, n submission xi square is equal to n submission xi squared minus submission xi whole square. Is this fine? So, if you notice carefully in the denominator of beta 2 hat, we had this. So, instead of this, I will simply write n submission small xi square. n and n will get cancelled. So, this can be written as submission xi yi upon submission xi square. So, this is beta 2 hat in its deviation form. So, let us conclude this thing. Beta 2 hat can be written as submission xi yi upon submission xi square where xi is x minus x bar, yi is y minus y bar. Now, once we have done this, beta, so I know that yi hat is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi, right? Or I know that yi is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. Let us take mean of this throughout. So, e of yi is equal to e of beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. This will be open up the expectations E of beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat E of xi plus E of ui hat. Now, the expectation value of yi is nothing but y bar, right? Expectation is you sum and divide by n. The mean of beta 1 hat is beta 1 hat because it is a constant. So, even if you sum it n times and divide by n, it is the same thing. Plus beta 2 hat mean of x bar plus mean of error terms is 0. So, if I have to solve this, I get y bar is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x bar or beta 1 hat is equal to y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. Right. So, I have written beta 1 hat in terms of y bar, x bar and beta 2 hat. Let us solve this a bit more. So, beta 1 hat is y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. This will be submission y by n minus submission xi yi by n. Sorry, by submission xi squared into submission x by n. This can further be written as submission y by n minus submission x minus x bar y minus y bar upon submission x minus x bar whole square into submission x by n. So, this is another way of representing beta 1 hat. This is another way of representing beta 1 hat. This is another way of representing beta 1 hat. In exam, you can be given either of the forms. So, you should just know that these are all the same forms. They are synonymous of each other. Okay. Thank you.